Welcome back to another Racerman Extreme video. Today we're going to be unboxing the LaserLink Audio Video Cordless IR Receiver. Uh, I did actually go ahead and get it started. I did tear this top piece off and we're going to rip right into it. What's really cool is that this is actually a vintage product. So LaserLink, in case you didn't know, it was on some of the cameras from the late 90s, early 2000s and you could send the video signal over infrared. And in order to pick it up, you can use one of these. So I'm not sure if some Sony TVs actually had this built in. I wanna say we used to have one that did, but the the benefit of this is you can just use this on any standard composite device. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish ripping it open for the very first time. And I am, I've never done unboxings before, so. I'm sure there's a much like better way to do this. And then just ripping right into it. I'm not really worried about the packaging because it was only a $20 product, like to my door. But here it is. So, um, what you do is you plug this into power. And I want to say it's brand new. There we go. So, what you do is you plug this into power and then to your TV. You can use the, the set of cables right here. Here's the uh, power cord. Yeah, this is definitely meant because that, that one's tied properly. It was also listed as new on eBay, so hopefully that's true. So here's the, uh, the brick, it's uh, six volts. And just plug that in right there and then with this you just plug these cables in and then those cables and then that's it let's actually get some footage of me testing it out okay so i have gone ahead and plugged it into power plugged it into the tv and it is in the on power state uh, currently there's no signal going to it hence the no signal on my tv and i do apologize for the mess on my dresser it's just it's a bedroom, you know, things go on the dresser all the time. Anyway, this is a Sony DCR TRV20. I picked it up on eBay as a four parts camera and it turns out that the camera that I was going to fix with it is in a much worse state than this one. So I opted to just fix this one and now it's good as new. Um, and then this plastic piece right here with the stickers on it and the little uh, see-through window for the screen. Um, that's actually off the original camera just to give it some some of the character of the original one if the battery wasn't enough um, Anyway Right here is some footage and I'll play a little snippet of it So I actually shot this video on tape yesterday uh, for my Converting mini DV to mp4 or whatever type of file you want uh, via OBS tutorial. So if you haven't checked that one out already, be sure to do so. Um, I used this as well as some other footage in it uh, that's actually on this tape. And then I also used some Tinkerbell tape footage um, from probably nine years ago. So anyway, uh, as you can see, there is a picture right here, but it's not up there. So on the DCR TRV20, you're going to have your super laser link button right here. Uh, if I can get it to focus, I'll help it out a little bit. So right here, you just simply push this, the red light will come on. That is a red light. Um, it looks a little orange on the preview window. And basically all you have to do is point it at the receiver. And the cool thing is the uh, content is actually shot in 16 by nine. And as long as you maintain a good connection that you can physically see between the camera and the receiver, this will work perfect. You can just set up your um, capture setup with this in mind, and then when you're ready to ingest footage, you just put the camera in front of it and let it do its thing, and then that way you don't have to actually plug anything into the camera. It is actually cordless um, from the camera to the receiver. So I just powered it off uh, because that's pretty much all there really is to it. Hey, so during editing, it occurred to me that I didn't exactly test uh, the majority of older mini DV content, which is probably 4x3 aspect ratio content. So 
Uh, after tweaking the zoom on my TV, and this is a 24 inch Dynex I've had since before the channel. Anyway, I fixed it and this is actually what the content looks like. So this is actually example footage um, that I used in yesterday's video as well. Uh, this is the Tinkerbell stuff that I sprinkled in. And as you can see, I'm behind Tinkerbell and it's 4x3, the way it's supposed to be. Now, as for 16x9 content, uh, let's take a look real quick at that. Because I know I used 16x9 content just a few minutes ago. But we just gotta be for sure. You know, we're gonna try to find the content that I shot yesterday. It's not that far back. Okay, so for 16 by 9 content, you will need to zoom your TV into wide mode because that is how you preserve the aspect ratio, as you can see here. That is the only way to preserve it. So you will need your TV in wide mode if you are watching wide content. Um, per however the, the camera captured it. And if you're watching 4x3, you will need to set it to some sort of normal mode to get it to show 4x3. It will not do it for you. Anyway, back to the original video. It really is just that basic in terms of how it works. So if you have not already, be sure to leave a like on the video, get subscribed, uh, visit creativeliferp.com, the best 5M server ever, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.